Hey everyone, it's Mona here at Craft Class. Today we're going to make a bird out of a gourd. Now I've had these gourds, I actually have three of them, that have been sitting in my garage for many years because I've wanted to do this and I've never done it. I've had these since my niece and nephew were pretty young and they're now 21 and 18, almost 19. So these have been sitting there for quite some time. In fact, this one's got cobwebs on it. So I'm leaning between these two, and I'm not sure which one I'm going to go for yet. And maybe this one. And we're going to paint it yellow. Spray paint. Now this is going to be a fall bird. We're not doing a turkey, per se. We're just doing a fall bird. So I have these yellow rods that are 3 eighths of an inch. I'm going to cut them down, but I'm also going to spray paint them. So I want to cut these shorter. I know roughly where I want them to be. So I want to cut them to an equal length. I'm just going to use my Dremel tool. Now I have to decide where I want the legs to fit into the body. And when you're measuring these, remember that part of it's going to sink into the body of the gourd and part of it's going to sink into the wood. So you just want to make sure you will have your legs as long as you want them to be. So I'm going to decide where I want them spaced on the body to see how he'll stand. And then I'm going to drill holes into the gourd. I pre-drilled two small holes because it seemed easier and then went through with the bigger one. Now let's see if this sits as I'm hoping it will. So this is fitting in pretty perfect. So I'm pretty happy with that. Now I gotta get it all settled and then figure out where I need to put the holes on the wood piece. So the piece of wood is bleached and it's dry and um, I think everything that might have been living in it is now more or less dead. And I'm gonna take a sharpie and just make a couple marks where I want his feet to go in. Here he is so far, we got him in here. I'm gonna put some glue in here so he stays nice and tight, and then we get to decorate him. And we need to do something about this. Normally you could probably keep this, but I did break it, so I'm gonna put um, a polymer clay beak over it, and I'm gonna put polymer clay feet on here so it looks like his feet are actually, like he's standing on, on this piece of wood instead of having the feet down in there. I have some brown polymer clay leftover from some other project and I'm going to use that for the beak and for the feet. Okay, so this is basically what I want it to look like, but I'm not going to have the pieces actually connected at this time because obviously it's clay and for me to be able to bake it I have to do each of the pieces kind of separate and then attach them on later with glue. So I'm just going to get them the shape I want, carefully take them off, um, and bake them. So I bought some floral pieces that um, I'm going to put in as tail feathers. So that's going to require me to drill a hole. So I'm going to bend this because I want it to stick up more. See what I can't do about getting it in there. Okay, so we have tail feathers. So then I have this bunch of like little pom-pom things that I want to use. I'm going to stick some in the back and then I'm also going to just put it like on the top of his head. But I'm not going to attach that until my beak is done and I can get the eyes placed. But I do want to add some into the back as well just for a little more interest and texture. So I'm going to drill a couple small holes into the top where I can fit these into as well. Now I want to add some glue so that everything will stay in place and then we can bend the wires as we need for good placement. Now I went pretty generous on the glue and I'm just going to add some glitter on top of it to hide any of the excess glue.
finished and you can see the whole of him here and I'm going to bring him in a little bit closer. I added a brown boa, feather boa around his thighs, around his ankles and around kind of creating a plume for his head and I have those pom-poms in the front too. So let me bring it a little closer. There you can see the feet. So any glue or imperfections hidden. I'm not sure if you could see but I added some googly eyes and I added some additional glitter wherever there may have been some imperfections or glue um, and that hides a multitude of sins. So uh, here's the back of his tail. You can see that too where I added additional glitter. So it looks like it's supposed to be that way. So be sure to let me know what you think of this guy in the comments below and remember to subscribe and thank you for liking and commenting on this video. So I'll see you Friday. In the meantime, stay safe and happy crafting.